obviously there's a quite uh, a big event there being Mick Cook's last game in charge here. Do you think that gives it yourselves as players an extra motivation or does it make it a kind of a sadder occasion for yourselves? So considering, you know, how many of you he brought here. Yeah, I think it's a sad occasion for the for the club. Um obviously I don't know what went on behind the scenes like that uh, they made that decision but um winning for him would be great. Winning for the town would be even better so personally myself so I'd be looking forward to it. Anyway. It was a shock to be told I wasn't wanted. And when you consider you know, this is our fourth cup final in two seasons, second in the league, European football, but that's a decision the board make and I've just got on my job and I'll be judged by my results on the pitch. I think after will be more of an occasion, to f the emotions will probably um, of him leaving, but before it's just all about focus on the game. I think, you know, things will look after themselves after, you know, managers go and managers stay, whatever happens with, 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 with Mick and the board, that'll be sorted out, but, um, you know, it's just a complete focus and it has to be like that. I think, um, you know, you got to bury ourselves this week and just, just into, you know, what we're going to do on the day and uh, tackle the be better than Sligo on the day and hopefully that's that's the case. Yeah, full squad of 19 to select from, which is nice. Yeah. Um, as I said, uh, we came into the games, gave everybody game time, which I could afford to do because uh, of our league position. And uh, so everybody's ready to go. Just the last two games, I think uh, he's been giving the lads a run, you know, and just trying to look after ourselves, you know, and not getting any silly bookings or sending off or anything like that, but injury-wise, uh, you just... I'm not really going in the tackles, you know, you're just saving yourself for the, for the big day, you know. Uh, watching Sligo, as I did, I watched them in the previous week against St. Pat's, you pick up something all the time. Um, as you said, we've had uh, five games against them already. This is, I don't think the game last Saturday week meant anything to either side. We made lots of changes. There wasn't a tackle made in anger. But the four previous games were very, very good. This is Tanta Cup semi-finals and our two league meeting with them were excellent. Well, you said it yourself, it didn't mean a lot. And, you know, once the intensity drops, we rested a lot of players that night as well. So once that drops, you're going to have a different performance. This is all about a one winner-take-all day. And, you know, that's that's what it is. Winner takes all. Who shows up in the day gets the, gets the prize. And hopefully that'll be us. But no, I'm very pleased with the season on the back of what we achieved. Um, as I said, it's our third cup final. Uh, we didn't disgrace ourselves in Europe against a team that's going to win the Swedish Championship, Malmo. Yeah, to run a team like that to the last kick of the game before they got the second goal against us was a great achievement. And I just think if the lads can be focused as they were for them two games against Malmo, we'll certainly give it a good go on Sunday. Yeah, it's great for the town. Um, massive cup final. I know we've been in two already and we were beating them, but it'll be a great day out for the town and hopefully they all enjoy it, you know? Yeah, I mean, if you know... If it was probably me ten final or whatever it may be. Um, so yeah, I'm used to them. And any any advice I can I can pass on, you know, I'll do. I'll do with the young lads especially. And um, you know, obviously I, I still enjoy the finals just as much, even though I've played in a lot of them. So yeah, any experience that I can pass on, I will. And um, I'll settle a few nerves for the lads before the game because you know it's, it's only football at the end of the day, big game as it is. But you know, it's, it's not life or death to him. You know, so um, I'll just get the lads to enjoy it. And um, you know. Hopefully um, they'll go down and drop this history with another, another great win. They'll obviously be favourites. They're full-time outfit. They finished third in the league. And um, we certainly won't mind going in as underdogs. We've, we've been there before. At the end of the day, you don't know what's going to happen on the pitch. So you just have to make a mind up on the day. Like when, when the ball comes to you, make a mind up. But um, visualising, I don't, I don't really visualise any game. Like I just went to the game and hopefully do well, you know. We've all behaved ourselves the last couple of weeks in preparation for this big game. And certainly um, when we win it, we will certainly let our hair down for a few days.